Well, obviously, small children can't do statistics in the formal sense in the way we learn it in school, doing statistical computations. But spectacular research shows that even infants can do intuitive statistics, have a sense of what is probable or improbable. And what we have shown in our research is that this intuitive statistics extends beyond humans to non-human primates. But how can one investigate such questions with children who cannot even speak yet? To test this, Hannes Rokocci fills two transparent containers, okay. each with different numbers of multicolored and silver toy bricks. The probability of randomly drawing a multicolored or silver brick thus differs between the containers. The child seems to have a preference for the silver bricks. Or was that just a coincidence? The test is repeated. It is most likely that a silver brick will be in the left hand of the researcher. Indeed, it seems to be no coincidence. And again, the child needs intuitive statistics. Most of the time, he chooses the hand that drew from the container with mostly silver bricks. What these studies show is that this capacity for intuitive statistics is present in humans very early in development. So even in the first year of life and long before children acquire language. So in a sense, this seems to be a very basic human cognitive capacity. Chimpanzees were tested in a sanctuary in Uganda. Instead of colored objects, different types of food are placed in the buckets. Together with Julia Fischer's team at the German Primate Center in Göttingen, long-tailed macaques are tested in the same intuitive statistics tests. These monkeys prefer grapes over food pellets. Therefore, they should choose the hand that draws from the bucket in which, proportionally, there are more grapes, and where it is thus more likely to get a grape. It works. But will it also work with swapped containers? The monkey does not hesitate, but intuitively chooses the hand that contains a grape with higher probability. All tests are then statistically analyzed. How does the researcher interpret the results? Now in our research we've run the very same experiments with non-human primates and what the results very clearly show is we find the very same uh, capacities for intuitive statistics in these non-human primates. From an evolutionary point of view what that shows clearly is that these are ancient cognitive capacities. Taken together, the studies with chimpanzees in Uganda and with long-tailed macaques in Göttingen suggest that intuitive statistics goes much further back in evolution than previously thought and is not restricted to humans. That leads to another big research question. How can we understand human cognitive capacities in relation to those of non-human primates? How far do the commonalities go? Where do specifically human capacities begin? And why? One big goal of our research is to find out about commonalities in cognition between humans and other primates and what makes us special cognitively, that sets us apart from other primate species. Now in this area we know about common capacities that we share with other primates of intuitive statistics. But of course later on in human development we find very specifically human capacities for formal statistics and the question is how do they come about, how do they develop. Now we know language plays a crucial role but what we don't know yet and what we hope to find out in the future is how does language play that role?